we're turning our attention to the often weird and wonderful world of inventions. Yes, have you ever heard of the trouser chair or the sleepwalker's hat or shoes to help you dance? Believe it or not, they do exist. Just take a look at these. Well, joining Beautiful. us now with a whole host of gadgets and gizmos like that set to revolutionise our world before the turn of the century is Kate Billingham. Hi, Kate. Hi. Well, I hope they're not quite like that. I don't no. think those are really going to make it necessarily. Yeah, I particularly like that hat with the stickers coming off it, <laughs> sleepwalkers or something. The thing is, you've got to sleep in it in the first place, I suppose. It wouldn't be very convenient, would it? So what do you make some of these things you've got here? Well, the first thing I found, uh, which is uh, an interesting gadget, is, is a calculator. Now, you might think, what's so special about a calculator? It was built back in the 1970s by my dad when a calculator was something really new. Got it, got it down at the front there. It's, it's, it's quite a big box, but um, next to it I've got my uh, palm top organizer, which is something I personally could not live without. And uh, in the 70s, the amount of computing power you've got in there would have filled a whole room. I mean, just 20 years, the whole of technology changes. Mm -hmm. So it, it's amazing the things that can change. Now, you've also got a few uh, inventions here that certain sort of well-known faces say they couldn't do without. Yes, well, as I said, for me, it's the handheld organizer. Yeah. Um, Gloria Hunniford says she can't do without her, um, her, her gas-powered curling tongs. They I can know. even work in a field, though. I find them so. invaluable. <laughs> I can tell, I can <laughs> tell, yes. Yeah. But uh, Howard Stableford went for the widget you, that you get in the bottom of a beer can. He claims the reason is because every time he pulls uh, the, uh, the, ring, the pull. ring pull on the can of beer, it makes him think, think of the law of physics. Yeah. I'm not yeah. convinced about that. I think it might just be that he likes the beer that he gets out. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got, uh, we asked Andy Peters and he said it's his mobile phone. Yeah. Always also on the phone. Brush, look at that picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Diane Louise Jordan's gone for the uh, fax machine, indispensable. Right, phone. yeah. But I think the one that amuses me most is uh, Barry Norman. It's the trouser press. Yeah, I agree with him, actually. They're really yeah, useful, they are. brilliant trouser yes. press. It's a fantastic present to give to somebody. Just just not so good with the micro leggings, I've found. No, no, it's probably a man's <laughs> present more than anything. <laughs> but it is a good one. Now, what have you got here? These are some of the things that are sort of coming out at the moment, Well, possibly. sort of budding ideas. Yes, you mm. see, all these things must have started sometime. Somebody had an idea and then thought, you know, what do I do? How, how do I get rich on what this do, idea? Yeah, but what do people do then? Well, the most important thing is that you mustn't tell anybody. The temptation is if you've come up with a good idea, you just want to tell everybody about it. Mm. And if you're going to make any money out of it, you mustn't do that. Uh, the first thing you've got to do is get a, a, a patent out on it. Contact the patent office and, and get a patent and only then tell people about it. Otherwise, you lose the chance of getting a patent and, and getting any yeah, Can any I just say details it? about the patent office you can get from our hotline, 0121415 yeah. But once you've done that, then you face the challenge of trying to get people to, to be interested, to, be interested, to, to make it, to, to market it, and to buy it. Mm -hmm. We've got actually a success story here, which is um, the uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. Now, you would have thought you vacuum. couldn't redesign the vacuum cleaner, if that's just what it is. But what he did is he, he, he took out the bag so that you have it here without the bag in, and yeah. it's really caught on. It took him a couple of years, but, but that's something that's something that has succeeded. Right. But, what about um, the system, Yeah, there? got some things here that will they succeed. This is, you know, when you've had a cup of coffee and you've got a rim left in, when you've left it to dry, dry and go yeah. all gacky, and if you haven't got a washing up machine, the best way to get it out is to use one of these. You stick it in, it twizzles round, and you know, it's hey, dead I like that. You can that's good, good, yeah, yeah, that's well, I want an electric one of those, though. <laughs> I like that, right. I'll have that one. It's a battery yeah. power. Just that's mine, that's oh, mine. Okay. Uh, you know these little message, sticky message pads that you can get yeah. like this, you know, yeah. stick them anywhere take them off, stick them somewhere mm. else. Which are a pretty brilliant invention in the first place. Brilliant, yeah. but what about being able to do it with anything? The glue, that if you put it on any piece of paper, it turns it into one of those sticker pads. I've got a nice, oh, it's already stuck down. A nice little card here. Oh, it's, not oh, really? it's, not, <laughs> it's not permanent glue. No, and so I've, all I did was I put this on, yeah. let it dry, and then you can stick that on anything as well. Oh, stick oh, that it's, there. Yeah, it's it quite a glamorous picture, I see. Right, <laughs> let's just move on quickly here, because we're just, we're just running out of time. Just tell me what this is. 
Well, this was featured at um, an exhibition uh, just last week of inventions. <laughs> It's not as bad as it sounds. It's actually no. a safety what is it thing. For? It's uh, for animal handling. If you've got, say, a oh, dangerous it, dog. Oh, right. you round it yeah. up. Well, not much good with budgies. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it keeps the animals safe and it keeps you safe. Oh, right. So I all these for uh, nabbing the children out of the swimming pool. <laughs> Alternative use, award-winning, so that somebody Kate, thinks these are going to succeed. We'll have to leave it there. I'll give you a brush back. Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. <laughs> okay.